it looks like we're live on YouTube right now. Okay, we're gonna get started in just a few more seconds. I'm waiting for the clock to hit um, 1.03. Okay, great. Hi, hi everyone. Thanks so much for joining. I'm so excited to see so many people here. Uh, welcome to Friday Night Comics with the Believer Magazine. Um, my name is Kathy McLeod, and today our workshop is about drawing your favorite place. Um, I'm a cartoonist and illustrator, and just to tell you a little bit about myself, um, I grew up in Thailand, and I spent most of my life there, but I recently moved to Germany, that's where I am now, and I'm going to screen share um, a little bit of stuff I've done in the past to give you an idea of um, you know, my style and my work. All right, let's hope that this works. Um, Okay, I'm screen sharing now. Um, a lot of the work I've done um, in the past has been about Bangkok. Um, oh, this is a bit low res, but this is a big drawing of Chinatown in, in Bangkok. Um, this is a, a big drawing of a park. So I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with um, places and capturing small details of places that mean a lot to me. I'm also working on a comic for The Believer right now on a similar topic. I'm currently working on a graphic novel that maybe I'm not supposed to talk about yet, but this is a, it's um, based on a story I wrote about um, my childhood in, that I spent in Maine, where my dad's family is from. And here are just a couple of pages from that. Um, I also keep a sketchbook diary pretty religiously um, that I post on Patreon just about, um, you know, my daily life like right now in Berlin. And um, yeah, I'm just very, I love capturing details of where I am. I'm just, I just want to remember everything. Here are some of the comics that I do for Instagram. Um, all, of, all of my work is autobiographical. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to draw about some places today um, because, you know, we're in a pandemic right now and, you know, there's just a lot of places that, you know, we wish we could travel to. I'm sure that we, that we can't. Um, places in your own town that you can't go to, you know, karaoke or dancing. I'm sure there's just so many places that we could draw about today. Places in your past. Um, from your childhood, or even the place where you are right now. If this is your favorite place, like where you are right now, then that's great. And you can draw about that. It's all, um, nothing's off limits. So I just want to spend a few minutes um, brainstorming. And I'd like to, maybe I can set a timer for about three minutes. And I'd like you to write, just write down, think of a place that um, it doesn't have to be your most favorite place in the entire world, but any place that when you think about, you know, you can transport yourself there with your mind really easily. So as soon as you think about it, you're just flooded with memories, senses, sights and sounds and textures, smells, like any place that's really vivid for you. Um, so let's, um, I'm going to set a timer and I'd like you to think about you know, how does it feel to be there? What does the light 
look like? What does the ground feel like under your feet? Are you standing? Are you sitting? Um, just like every any detail you can think of. And oh, you can see my screen. Okay, I'll um, check back in in three minutes. I'm gonna write as well. Oh, um, I see a question about um, do we brainstorm places or what the place is like? Preferably, well, like what are, the first place that comes to your mind, either if you're still stuck on a place, then sure, brainstorm some places and then maybe the details will come to you as you're drawing. But if you already have a place in mind, then go for it. Start writing down all the things you can remember. And I see a lot of people from Maine. That's cool. I haven't been there in a long time. Okay, just about 30 more seconds, and then we can start drawing. So if you, you know, if you're still a bit stuck, that's okay. A lot of times um, these things come to me as I'm drawing. So um, I, I'm going to show you um, what I, what, what I'm thinking for this, and I'm going to have Kristen switch over to uh, my phone tripod cam so you can watch as I'm drawing. Okay, let's hope this. Let's hope this works. It's going to be a bit tricky. I'm sorry in advance. Um, I would like you to draw one kind of big panel first. So I'm, I'm doing um, kind of a landscape format, but either format, whichever you feel comfortable with, would be great. I, um, I'm going to start with one big panel, and we're going to draw the feeling, like the moment that you step into this place. You know, whether you, the moment you step onto the beach or step into, um, in my case, I'm drawing about uh, my friend's house. And, um, okay, let me, okay, I'm going to walk you through the format of this comic first. Um, we're also going to end with another kind of big panel. And that's going to be kind of a, a larger scene of you in this place with kind of all the details coming together. And then in between, you can fill it kind of however you would like. Because when I wrote down details of my friend's house, I had a lot of, kind of big memories, but also small memories of small details. And if, if you want to draw a small 
just like minor close-up details, then you can add a small panel. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, um, I'm gonna draw a couple of smaller panels. But like I said, um, let's, um, let's start with the first panel and I'm gonna maybe give us about five minutes um, and I'll maybe walk you through my, um, one of my favorite places is my, the house belonging to two of my very good friends in Bangkok. They have two young kids and every Saturday they have like a family movie night that I'm always invited to. And they're sort of like my, my second family. And so when I step into their house, I have a feeling of being home, you know, and um, uh, feeling comforted and cozy. And so that's what I'm gonna draw. So for the first panel, draw yourself stepping into this place and how that feels. Um, I'm gonna give us five minutes and I'm gonna set the timer now. And of course, if you don't finish in time, that's okay. We can always go back and add more details. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them into the chat and I'll try to answer them as we go. If there are other people in the drawing, you can have them saying something to you. And if you have a caption, if you'd like to write a caption, you can do that as well. A lot of the times if I have a caption in a comic, I'll draw it early on so that I can draw around it. Um, I should have drawn this on the top, but I'm just gonna go with it. Just a couple more minutes.
Hi, um, the pen I'm using is a Pentel, no wait, sorry, it's a Uniball uh, Fine pen. I'm not sure what, I'll show it to you. It's just a very, um, it just never lets me down. This is a very casual pen for casual drawing. Okay, so um, my first panel is um, stepping into my friend's kitchen and my caption is, when I step into Wes and Anne's place, a sense of calm comes over me as I smell the delicious food cooking on the stove. And I, I feel like I can draw their kitchen from memory because I've been there so many times. Um, for the next panel, um, I've drawn kind of a smaller panel and it's just gonna be another small detail of this place. And um, <clears throat> after that, I have two, you can see like two kind of smaller panels where I'm gonna just fill it with different details. But um, I'm gonna do this. So let's move on to the next panel and think of another detail from your list. It doesn't have to be like this huge scene. It's just a, just another kind of sense memory that you have. I'm gonna draw um, my friends, two young boys coming down to say hi to me, which, is, which I always, I love that moment. So um, for this one, I think maybe four minutes for our next, for our next panel. And, and again, um, feel free to ask any questions. I like answering this. I'm gonna write the caption first this time. And you also don't have to have captions. Comics with no captions can be great as well. If you finish this one early and you want to go back and add details to your first one, that's cool too. We all work at different paces.
Wait, just two, two more seconds for this one. All right, now we're going to draw um, a couple of very small details. Um, I'm going to draw um, my friend's cat coming and flopping over for a belly rub. And um, I'm going to draw us going upstairs to watch a movie. But I'm going to zoom in on the small details. It's um, for kind of very specific small memories like this, you can zoom in and just show something very close up or just show the corner of something. Um, you can watch me as I'm drawing. Um, you can make smaller panels. You make them as small as you want. If it's like a cookie that you ate at a bakery, you can just show the corner of the cookie with a bite mark in it or just the, the edge of a leaf or something. Um, it can be really nice to show different perspectives in a comic to try to, yeah, try to um, draw your favorite place from a different perspective. Um, and for these two small ones, um, maybe um, five minutes combined. And you can also draw as many as you want within that time frame. If it takes you, you know, 30 seconds to draw a leaf, then draw, you know, keep, keep going. There's no limit here. So I'm, I'm setting the timer for five minutes.
Hey, Kathy, someone's wondering what kind of whiteout pen that is. Oh, this is from Muji. And it's here, I'm gonna I'm gonna show the pen as well. It's a it's a really good whiteout pen. Um and yeah, I am needing it right now and messed up this panel. I'm trying not to get too upset about it. Um Muji is great for stationary. Um okay. So we, I hope that everyone's doing okay on time and I hope we're not rushing through this. So for the next um, section, this last, this corner here, um, we can, you can fill it up with as many as you think, um, you know, I'm gonna put in three, but if you need a bit more time, feel free to just put in one or two and, if you have extra time, you can go back and um, add details to your previous panel. So I think um, I think five minutes for these last few memories um, would be good. And if you need more time, um, I'm happy to yeah, just let me know. Yeah, it's a great white up pen. <laughs> it dries very smooth. For this one, I'm, I'm drawing a blanket that when I go to movie night at my friend's house, I always grab this huge, just thick, cozy, warm blanket. And I'm trying to recreate the texture of it here. The textures can be a really good sense memory to put in your comic if you stuck.
And in this next one, I'm drawing the thing that every movie night needs, which is a big bowl of popcorn. All right, so for your last panel, um, I'm gonna give you about five minutes to draw one last image of you in this place. And maybe it can have all of the things that you've drawn up until this point, or just anything, any kind of drawing to give us a sense of what it feels like to be in this place. You know, if it's cozy, if it's exciting, if it's fun, um, just something to give us like a bigger picture of of this space, this room or this this tropical locale or wherever you are. I'm gonna draw just everyone in this room together. And so I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and then it'll be time to share. I'm really, really excited to see what everyone's drawn.
Yeah, I've got my cat tail getting in the frame. So we have about one minute left and then we can start the sharing portion. All right, so um, I'm gonna quickly show you what I've drawn and then let's, we're gonna move on to, to the rest of you. Um, this is my comic about my friends Wes and Ann and their family movie night. So my first panel, um, when I step into Wes and Ann's place, a sense of calm comes over me. I already read that. All right, the next panel is the boys run downstairs and update me on their lives. The younger boy is showing me his new book, and the other one is wants to show me his new video game. Love those boys. And then, um, then the cat comes down and flops over for a belly rub. After dinner, we all head upstairs to start the movie. I settle in on the big sofa and grab one of the heavy, cozy blankets. We pass around a big bowl of microwave popcorn. We turn out the lights and get lost in the movie. For the next couple of hours, the rest of the world doesn't exist. I'm safe and happy in my favorite place. And that's all of us watching. Back to the future. So, okay, I'm super excited to see everyone, everyone's comics. So please raise your hand if you'd like to share and Kristen will unmute one of you. And please oh. uh, say your name and where you're from. <laughs> Hello, I've never got picked before. Um, hi, I'm Amy. I'm in East Palo Alto, California. And I, I don't know what you can see from my camera because I hid my face from myself. Oh, there we go. Okay, so oh, wow. I, I drew, I liked what you had to say at the beginning about places we don't get to go anymore. So I drew actually my favorite coffee shop that I used to go hang out at a lot with my friends. Um, and so I kind of drew like the interior of what I think of at the, the lounge um, place where we actually started having our book club meetings. Um, and then uh, it's, of course we can't go there anymore cause it's inside, but this is also where I met my, I first met my friend who we run the book club together. So then I drew in my little like, I guess detail shots. I drew me and my friend because we run a queer book club. So I drew us like trying to scope out if we think the people showing up to the place are coming to our meetup or not because it's often how we like meet new people and stuff. Um, here I have a bunch of things that just say gay book. This is like <laughs> us taking up space on the table and our like little name tags and our pens and stuff. Um, and then I drew my classic book club meeting uh, order that I get from there and my order for when I'm just hanging out with my friend. And then I was kind of phoning it in on my details at by the end because I was running out of time. But I just I <laughs> wanted to people. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to capture like how you said the feeling at the end. I wanted to capture like the cozy vibe of hanging out there with my book club and like meeting new people there in the little this is this, I yeah. think. And then this is like just me and my friend hanging out, like working on our computers or reading just on our own time sometimes. So I'd like to go back there soon, I hope. Oh, you do, that's amazing. Thanks so much for sharing. 
after you read about club. Hi, I see your family. Can you tell me where you where you all are from? We are from the Berkshires of Massachusetts. There's three generations of us here. Um, Charlie's going to share his first. Here, I'll hold it and you can talk about it. Okay? Uh, no, no, you talk about it. Okay, a little more over here. I, I'll hold it. Okay, talk about um, it. So it's a picture of, um, it's a picture of me going to the ice cream store and um it was and as i was walking to the ice cream store i wanted to go inside to eat some ice cream but then the ice cream store guard guarding the ice cream store said they're closed. The ice cream store was closed that day because it was raining. So I was like disappointed in the picture. I love your facial expression of disappointment and despair at the ice cream store being closed. I completely relate. He looks so. <laughs> I hope you get to eat ice cream soon. Say thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm uh, Katya. I'm in Connecticut. Um, I drew my favorite place, which is Venice. So Venice. This, yeah. This is um, like an, the opening shot. Mm -hmm. And then I remember just walking along dark alleyways at night because it's like perfectly safe. And it was just so beautiful looking at the shop windows and stuff and wow. drinking in the food market, fruit market, and then all the mist that disappears into the mist. Beautiful. I love the effect of the silhouettes in the mist. I've never been to Italy. It was great. Thank you so much for sharing. I like your background. Oh, Hi, me... Actually, um, my name is Azir. My dad's name is uh, Rizwan. Well, so over here, the um, name of the um, comic is Ojo Alamo. It's a formation, and this is um, fiction, it, but it's a place that I would want to go. So uh -huh. over, over here is um, me arriving in the Ojo Alamo formation and seeing an Alamosaurus. And then the um, little detail is that some birds were flying over the uh, um, Alamosaurus. And then over here, it shows like the Alamosaurus walking alongside some Ankylosaurus. And over here, it says, um, what a beautiful place the Ojo Alamo formation is. It is beautiful. You've drawn the dinosaurs so well. That's great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hi, where are you from? Hi. Well, uh, hello, Everybody. I'm uh, Haley from Vancouver, Canada. I, um, hello. I drew um, this place in Juneau, Alaska that I've gone to a couple times now. Uh, I'm a cartoonist as well, and there's a comics camp up there. And uh, I drew the experience of going into the camp or into the cafe and getting to see all your friends there, uh, getting to meet up and get to meet new friends, enjoying a, a warm cup of coffee after the uh, cold, brisk Juno, Alaska air leaves your face and... I love the coffee steam, it's so beautifully Oh, gone. thank you, yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully I'll get to go back up there one day and draw again yeah. with all my comics friends. Yeah. That was so great. Thanks. I hope you have all of these. I wanna see, see them more closely. Hi. Unmute, my name's Rob Astor, I'm from I'm from uh, Traverse City, Michigan. Uh, I I drew a place when I was when I was a little little boy. I don't know if you can see it very well. Oh wow! Uh, sort of, uh, so the first the first panel is a sort of the view uh, 
sort of outside of my back bedroom, my bedroom window, which there's like a bunch of trees and then you can sort of look up and over the hill. And then um, at the top of that hill was a big pine tree. That's my second panel. And then there's just a couple branches of the pine tree and there's a there's a an attempt at a crow cawing caw, caw, caw. and then then there's then there's sort of an arm that's me sort of climbing the tree and down here sort of is a I'm not sure if you can see it very well as the is Lake Michigan in the distance. Um I didn't plan very well so I had to draw it on and draw another one but that's the and, part, that's perspective of each panel. That's, okay. Did you on, on the, and on the other side, you can sort of see me here, sort of climbing up the tree and looking off. And the other dis, other side was uh, uh, the I could see my town and the water tower and the and the church. And then this is me sort of at the top, relaxing. <laughs> so that was. That was my favorite place. That tree, that tree's not there anymore. It's a cut. They got cut down. Oh, which is my disappointment. You've so. done it, Jeff. I think this file is really beautiful. Thanks okay. for sharing. Hi. Hi, my name is Natalie. Um, from Sacramento, California. Um, and I also have a, an outdoorsy pine tree theme. This is not the first or second time I've drawn a. Uh, pine trees in the Believer Comics workshop. So you can tell I'm, I'm missing the outdoors, but um, I used to go camping in Lake Tahoe with my family as a kid. So here's kind of the first one. After checking in at the visitor center, we drive down to our campsite and there's like a nice windy road leading to all the campsites. And then here's me looking out the car window perspective. Um, I can smell the hot pine needles as I look out the car window at the pine covered mountains. And then some detail shots of the sun coming through the trees, a pine cone that's looking a little bit like corn on the cob, <laughs> but it's a <laughs> pine cone, which are like really big if you've seen those before. Um, and then Lake Tahoe has this like really great rock formations, like really big ones that you can climb on. They're all dusty and fun and I used to love doing that as a kid. And then of course the most memorable is the lake, which um, I had difficulty drawing in black and white, but it's a gorgeous like multicolored lake if you ever go. That's so beautiful. And you can tell how much you love, love this place. The details, it's just, that's, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing. Mm -hmm. I wish I could draw like that. Hi. Oh, is that a dog? <laughs> My dog, yeah. Um, so I did, oops, can I get down? I'm really gonna stay here. Um, this is my bed and can you guys see it? I don't know if it's too dark. I can see it. Okay, yeah. so this is my bed and right here is my dog sleeping in the bed, getting the sheets warm. Um, and then I closed up, closed in on her sleeping on the bed. Um, okay, you wanna get down? And then this right here is my hedgehog night light, night light that my sister gave me that I turn on at night so I can get into bed when it's dark. And that's my water bottle. It's glass, so I only keep it by my bed because I can't be trusted with glass water bottles. And then this is the end where I'm asleep um, with my puppy and my night light in my I bed. <laughs> I love my that. <laughs> it's this very cozy comic. Thank it's you. Beautiful. Hi, everybody. Uh, so in keeping with, um, oh, my name's Alyssa. I'm in Manhattan. And in keeping with uh, repeating <laughs> themes or drawing things we've drawn before, uh, I've drawn the Met, which is one of my favorite places. So here we have the grand staircase, very grand, um, the Great Hall. And Normally, I think that this is a Rembrandt. Like normally at the end of the staircase, you see a huge Rembrandt. Um, as I say in the comic, I am not Rembrandt. So we have a stick figure. <laughs> um, also a theme in this comic overall. Um, we have, uh, I guess, a detail on the rooftop. A few years ago, there is this incredible 
um, space themed exhibit. I like that you could be lost in space um, on the Met rooftop, surrounded by both the city and uh, outer space. And then uh, for the next panel, and one of my uh, favorite stories, I went there with my closest friend from college and he just got tired from walking around, which is understandable because it's huge. So he sat down in the only available chair we could find, which was right at an information desk. So people came up to him and started asking him questions. And the thing is, he actually knew the museum well enough where he would actually give them directions. So we have, uh, in honor of Kevin, our fake tour guide, um, <laughs> just says, hi, my name is Kevin and I will be your tour guide. And, you know, not a tour guide. <laughs> um, and then finally, I think one thing I love about the Met is the Met Ball. Um, and I just think that it would be great. This was a dream of mine, right, to go to... Um, the Met Ball, even if it's just like crash and stand right outside <laughs> while the event is going on and, you know, wear some fabulous getup or something like that. Um, but it's one of my favorite places and I'm glad that it's uh, reopened. Thanks so much for sharing. I love these. I miss museums as well. All right. I, I think we've run out of time for today, unfortunately. I've loved every single one of your comics that I've seen and I want to see, I honestly want to look at all of them. So. If you would share them on social media, um, that would be amazing. Um, you would you should use the hashtag Friday Night Comics, tag Believer Mag, and you could tag me as well. I think my Instagram handle should be at the beginning of this chat. Thank you so much to all of you for coming and for for drawing and for sharing, and thank you to Believer Magazine and to Sequential Artist Workshop for sponsoring this. Thank you so much, Kathy. Let's give uh, Kathy a hand, everybody. Thank you. 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 Thank you.